Hello there. I'm Freddie Westman. You may recognize me from your local station. I'm here today to tell you why you need Polaroid's new flagship, the Presto. Their latest instant camera that uses SX70 film. With a bright red button for releasing the shutter, you always know where to go to get that picture. With this camera, it could not be simpler or easier or less hard to take a picture. Capture those memories from the first time of asking. Featuring a rugged, rigid, rock-solid plastic body and a lens with a fixed aperture of 14.6, pictures are guaranteed to come out tack sharp every single time. All you need to do to get going is to open up your film door, slide the cartridge in, close it back and you're ready to shoot. And once you've got it loaded up, it's easy as that. Lights are falling down. God, this production is a dumpster fire. Let's try this again. Who knows how that turned out? Let it develop for a couple seconds, and it's as easy as that. Polaroid Presto. Guaranteed to get you the perfect shot every time. As long as it's not too bright, not too dark, your subject's not too far away or too close. Uh, and also if you want chap, uh, shallow depth of field, that's, that's probably, yeah, it's not gonna happen with an f-stop 14.6. And uh, <laughs> it's a perfect camera. That's the Freddie Westman guarantee. Uh, this place is dumb. Here we are, back with not having any clue on what my hair is doing. It simply cannot be tamed, much like my carnal desire for Viggo Mortensen around 2001. As you might have noticed from that completely authentic commercial, the Polaroid Presto is a, a little bit cantankerous. I think it's just become a curmudgeon in its old age, much like I plan to do. Here's the first picture uh, that was taken with that pack of film, I guess you could, let's uh, be generous and call it abstract art. So the entire idea for shooting this pack of film was to, I was originally going to go out into the coastal plains of North Carolina, because uh, I know there's a bunch of like old abandoned buildings and I mean honestly you never know what you're going to find out there. I went around to go do some location scouting and it turns out that it's just entirely Trump country, which I didn't exactly not expect, but I wasn't so sure about traipsing around on potentially private property, and I wasn't trying to get shot that day, so I said, you know what, let's um, refocus and reorganize, and I ended up just going around some places that I was more familiar with. Um, still trying to capture some of the same aesthetic, some of the same vibe. Like with this first picture right here, uh, it's just a kind of an old abandoned storage farmhouse thing. I'm assuming something got caught on like the rollers inside that like spit the image out because there's just this odd streak going through the middle of this picture, and you'll see this on a few of the pictures throughout the rest of this video. I think it might just be because it's, I mean, who knows when the last time that camera was actually used. I've had the Polaroid Presto in my collection for probably six years or so, five years, somewhere around there. Um, I've never used it because pack film is just so incredibly expensive for 
such a small selection of images that you get. I paid about 20 bucks for this pack of SX70 film and yeah, you get eight shots out of it. So <laughs> that cost per picture is outrageous, especially compared to what I normally shoot, you know, with my bulk loaded black and white film. I just thought it would be fun to take it out because I really like the look of that camera and I wanted to see how it shoots. So I figured, figured I'd splurge a little bit. Yeah, the colors tend towards blue. Um, I was trying to just get some good old country shots. Yeah, it's, it's almost too bright in some parts. I don't know, it makes it look like the 70s, which is kind of cool. While I was researching the Polaroid Presto, or at least, I guess I should say, trying to research the Polaroid Presto, I found out there's really like no information on this anywhere. I couldn't even find like an advertisement for it in any of like the old like popular science or popular photography magazines from back in the day. The only thing I could even find that mentioned it in like a magazine or publication of any kind was uh, the Polaroid Presto SX70 camera was listed as one of the fifth prizes for this Strike It Rich sweepstakes. I'm not exactly sure what the intended market for the Polaroid Presto was. Um, it uses SX70 film, which the Polaroid SX70 is one of the most iconic, to me, one of the most iconic Polaroid instant cameras to have ever been made. It's, it's an SLR, it's a foldable SLR instant camera, which I would just love to get my hands on one of those. But um, yeah, hopefully Sunday. Sunday, yeah, no, I'm getting it Sunday. That would be cool. Hopefully someday I will be able to get my hands on one of those and shell out another 20 bucks for eight pictures. The Polaroid Presto has a really cool design, aesthetically speaking, but the functionality is, I found it to be a little bit lacking. It's only got one aperture and that's an f-stop of 14.6. The film pack, the color film pack, comes with an ISO of 160 built in to it, so you're between the narrow aperture and the low film speed, you're going to need a ton of light. There's no focusing capability of the Presto, so I kind of figured that wouldn't be an issue because the depth of field should be pretty, pretty wide, pretty deep. Um, just because it does have that 14.6 f-stop. But as I kind of wound my way around the countryside, um, yeah, it turns out it just, <laughs> I don't know why, but like I wasn't waving the camera around or anything when I was shooting it, um, but it is, you can probably tell everything is just kind of blurry. I found the manual online and it says that there's a sweet spot of like between four and eight feet away from the camera. Maybe that's what this was designed for, like indoor use or like outdoor use at family events and gatherings where people are generally within four to eight feet away from you. This place was actually really interesting. Uh, it's just off the side of a main road, but there's this giant lone tree in the middle of this big old field and they're, I couldn't tell exactly what they were, but it turns out there's a gravesite, a cemetery of sorts right there. Um, so once I realized what they were, I didn't go too much further, because again, wasn't exactly trying to get shot or haunted. I knew I was running out of pictures rather quickly, so I was driving around until I found something interesting and I saw a sign for the Johnston County Regional Airport. I was hoping with maybe the regional nature of this airport that it might be really small and maybe it was just like where a bunch of people had like their Cessnas or whatever. And it turns out that was the case and this actually ended up being my favorite shot of the bunch. Uh, there was a plane 
taking off right there at the, I just happened to get there at the right time. And there's all these old planes lined up. I'm not exactly sure what happened here with the different levels of exposure, but no, I, I do really like this one. The composition is okay. <laughs> and uh, I think it's kind of split up into nice sections. You got the foreground, you got the bit of the tarmac, got the line of the planes pretty much in line with the horizon, and then the sky is split into two different sections with that um, plane that's taking off as kind of the central focal point. Um, or at least it would be if it was in focus and bigger. I think that's pretty much it. And Polaroid cameras are always a lot of fun to shoot with. You know, it's always nice to have something physical to hold and the fact that it's instant and you don't have to go through any developing and everything. I, I definitely still understand the appeal of instant cameras, but the fact that you're paying like about $2.50 per image, a bit rich for my blood, as, as they say. They do say that, don't they? They, whoever they are, I'm sure somebody does. Love the look of the camera. The images have a nice vintage feel. It is a nice uh, conversation starter. You know, I, I think it's probably, it's up there with my like top Polaroid instant camera aesthetics. Um, just cause it's got that audacious red button and the two tone body and the rainbow strip in the middle. I love it. But would I recommend shooting with it? Probably not. The camera itself, from what I can tell, is pretty cheap. I've seen some people selling them for like a hundred bucks and I'm like, no, that's that's ridiculous. There are a lot more reasonable priced listings out there. So don't pay any more than like 10 or 15 bucks for this camera. Just because it's lack of functionality, it, who knows what condition it might actually be in, like what the insides look like because like I said, I got some pretty severe streaking on a couple of my images. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Camaraderie. If you liked the video, please comment. If you have something to say, please like. If you wanna see more of this kind of content, share it. And if you want to let other people know about this video, please subscribe. I think, I think I nailed it. Also be on the lookout for Freddie Westman. He will probably be making some more appearances on this channel as things move forward. I guess that's it, bye.